Hey everybody, um, I got a whole bunch of great questions from Katoris. So I figured I would just do it on video um, for those who want the answers. Here we go. Um, okay, is the Katoris set in daytime or evening better in the daytime? Remember, the Taurus was given um, twice, once in the morning, one in the afternoon. So if you really want to mimic the sacrifice, do it day or, or before night. But it can be set at night, but better not. But if you missed it, say it at night. Um, is it meant to be said every day? Yeah. In fact, you know, many people say it three times a day. Um, but yeah, or twice a day, because that's really when they was, when it was sacrificed. But at the very, very least, daily is definite. What if I miss a day? Okay. You're a human being. It's okay. We love you anyways. Get it the next day. Is there a point in just saying Torah sometimes? Yeah. Every time you say it matters. So every time you say it is amazing. You miss a day, say it the next day. Um, try to remember it as much as you can. Does this need to be said in Hebrew or is English okay? Better in Hebrew. Uh, if you can't say it in Hebrew, maybe you could find the transliteration. Um, because there's a lot of Kabbalistic stuff that goes on when you say these words. You know, the Torah is like a code. It like stimulates stuff that we don't even know. So that's always better. Um, should the Ketoris be by men and women like? Yes, women can save Ketoris and, and men as well. What if I say Ketoris each day? Does it count? Um, no, you don't want to make it count, right? You want to direct your current Ketoris sayings in the prayer for the prayer. It's it's a deep concept that I don't fully get, but from the little that I've learned it is the Ketoris is so powerful that it actually cleans your prayers from the little that I know when you when you pray. So when you say it during prayer, let it clean it and do what it's supposed to do for prayer. Like it, it does good for your prayer. One more time outside prayer, say it for, with the intention for the Jewish people. Um, what's more important, Katoris to Hillam? I don't know. Which kid do you like better, your son or your daughter? I love them both the same. They're both equally beautiful in God's eyes. Very different, but very powerful. If this prayer is so powerful, why haven't I heard of it? Um, mostly this prayer is so powerful that in some communities they saved it just to be said on Shabbos when people had the time so they wouldn't be running out during the weekday and not giving it the proper respect. So for many communities they never said it except for Shabbos day. Um, but for, for other communities, especially Sfard and Sfardi, uh, they say this all the time. So it really depends on the community that you grew up in. But this is normative practice in Judaism. This is not any Kabbalistic thing that you've never heard of. This is sort of down the fairway. Um, what should I be thinking of while I say guitar? Is try to understand the words as best as you can. There's an English say that with the English. It's try to get what's happening. You're offering a service of spices. Try to get what the spices are. And just try to follow the words as much as you can. I hope that helps.